My mom thinks she outsmarted me by telling me not to smile, so here's a smirk. I don't know why we have to wait so long, but in the meantime, I'm just gonna fit check. Then I saw Stuart Little's car, but an old man was driving. I don't see my besties anywhere, and I'm supposed to be meeting up them. I don't know where they are. Maybe we can go to the playground. Mom thinks that's a good idea, too. Thank goodness. She tells me to hurry up, but unless there is ice cream dangling in front of me, this is my top speed. So she better not expect anything more from these little legs. I can't wait to see my friends, and I can't wait to play on this playground. One thing's for sure is I'm not getting in that wagon. It's way too crowded with my brother and sister, even though my mom kept telling me she was going to put me in there. Heck no, not for me. I'm going to walk. <laughs> Only a few short miles until we finally got there. My mom said she had to stay with Magnolia, so I decided that's fine. No problem. I can see she needs more help than I do because I'm a big girl. So what happened? Then she sent me to the sandbox, my sister to the sandbox, and my brother to the sandbox. We all kind of like it because no matter what, we're going to get filthy in this thing. My brother decides to dig sand, put sand in his shoes. Then I decide to go over to the swing and to the slide. I make my uncle come with me because my mom had to stay with my sister and my brother again. I keep yelling at him, hey, catch me. Doesn't he see how far it is to go down this little tiny way? Get over here, Uncle Born. Get over here. Then my mom takes my sister on this saddle thing that doesn't do anything, and I was not amused. I didn't want to get on it. I just sat there and watched them go back in the sand and play with more sand. I was over it because I wanted to see my friends. Finally, my friends get here. Thank goodness you're not going anywhere. You see how I'm hanging on? I'm hanging on for dear life. Here's another view of us. I made sure that I did not let this little boy go. He was my friend. My mom then said we could go get gelato, and I argued I needed a large vanilla. She agreed just to calm my nerves while the other kids got slime because they finish way faster than I do. I said, well, I'm going to take my time and turn it into soup. And she said, okay, fine, we'll just stay here as long as you need. Now she's pressuring me to leave. When I left, I got slime too. My brother put it on the baby's head. And that's today.